hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is not your first time thank you for coming back if this is your first time of seeing this gorgeous face please do well to subscribe before you leave um hit the like button and all those good stuff okay so today's video is a simple makeup tutorial that you can rock this festive period it's not just a regular tutorial there are so many interesting parts to this video that you'll find fascinating if you want to see all of that just keep watching let's get right into it So like I said, this is a tutorial showing you a very simple look that you can rock anywhere this festive period, either to church, be it to parties, be it to concerts. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So normally before I start my makeup, I like to like do my skincare routine, but I just skipped all of that and went in with just my essence. It's not so necessary, but moisturizing is very, very necessary. Here, I'm just moisturizing my skin. Now, whether you have an oily skin or a dry skin, you have to moisturize. I'm sure this is not <laughs> any news. This particular product smells like medicine, and I kind of love it because it feels like I'm putting a treat bed on my face. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. No ginger, you ginger yourself. <laughs> So next up is my primer. It's past 20 minutes to open just this primer and it's not open, you guys. Just grab this old makeup primer which is really really messy but it's from Sylvie Mac. It's called the Hydro Drop. So you want moisturizer and makeup primer. This is what it looks like. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do so. And I think this was the perfect um, primer to use for this video because you know this period because of the hamatan we don't want to be caught with cakey makeup so i think what's best this period is a hydrating primer i mean you can use a matte primer but you have to layer it well use the right setting spray the right foundation and all of that i went over my face with my primer spray you can also use a setting spray if you don't have a primer spray now for foundation i'm using beauty by ad and l'oreal and i'm mixing them together because i love the consistency these two foundation gives me and it makes my perfect foundation match so i'm just blending in don't forget blending is the key and you have to use a really soft and damp um beauty blender i'm doing the happy dance because ah the skin is skinning now i'm going in with my fixing spray you can also go in with your setting spray just to make sure that the foundation is sitting pretty but i'm going with one shade lighter than my skin tone and i'm just putting a little in these areas now these are the areas that will normally shine i'm sure you can see the shine on my nose and my forehead yeah that's where you're meant to place your concealer and yeah this is me just blending one thing about me and my makeup is that it's going to blend it's going to blend so there's no how you're going to follow the steps and your makeup is not going to blend okay <laughs> so what i like doing when i'm blending my concealer i like to start with um places with minimal products so that when i finally come to my under eye i won't find it really difficult to blend and that's exactly what i did and i'm just blending light handedly like i'm not putting too much pressure so for my cream blush i'm going in with this lip gloss and i love it so much it's the adventure lip gloss in the shade 8040 and i mix it with my foundation because i was not feeling that pink pink so i wanted to tone it down a bit so i mix with my foundation and i'm just blending this and you can see how pretty that is now for contour i'm using this powder contour which is one shade darker and i'm just placing it um under the blush so the sequence is contour blush and highlighter from down you have your contour first your blush and then your highlighter so this is me just blending that in next i'm going in with my setting powder and i'm not baking i'm setting remember we're going for a really simple look that you can rock absolutely anywhere this period yeah you're going to see how you can rock it anywhere just keep on watching okay so the technique i'm using is that i use minimal products and i see dusted it out before blending it now i'm not keeping it there like i'm just blending it right into my skin as i'm putting the powder i'm blending it so that's the technique 
yes remember that this amazon period we don't need a lot of powdery um product on our face so i went back to contour my forehead because i remember that i skipped that and then time for brows you guys finally a mini brow tutorial on this channel so i'm using this brow pencil and this is me just putting my brows in place before i start drawing them so i put a little bit of setting powder on my beauty blender and i'm just using it to go over my brows so that brow pencil will glide on easily and that will make it really really easy for me to draw my brows so this is me outlining the down part of my brows nothing much i'm just following my natural brows and just lining it as you can see here and this is what i have and then for the upper part i'll do the same thing and if you notice i did not start from the front i said from somewhere before the middle part and then i'm just following the line of my natural brows and then because i don't have arc i just went ahead to create a fake arc and this is me just filling in my brows to look as natural as possible now my hands are very light-handed while doing this i'm not putting too much pressure or any of that this is me filling in the front part of my brows and just putting light strokes there to look a little bit realistic <laughs> and also filling while doing it so that's that's it that's it about about brows i honestly don't like to do too much when it comes to my brows i really don't like them bold so i'm doing the same thing with my other brows you guys don't don't pressurize yourself okay brows are sisters they are not twins <laughs> i can never forget that because my brows are always not the same so i always use that one console myself <laughs> next i'm going ahead to clean my brows with my concealer the same concealer i used for my face trust me you don't need a lot of product while doing this process just to define the brows a bit. while i'm doing this i'm just blending it in I'm doing the same for my other brows you guys don't forget to keep on watching yeah so now i'm prepping my eyelid for my eyeshadow i'm using my concealer the same concealer i use the same concealer throughout and i'm just blending it with my beauty blender now i'm going ahead to contour my nose if you notice i did not conceal the front part of my brows that's because the contour was supposed to start from there so i didn't want to put concealer knowing fully well that the contour will cover it this is me feeling myself because i'm almost swear that it's not giving it is giving so i'm using the same powder i use for contour to go over my crease i'm using it as my transition color and i'm just blending that in i'm just using the powder to show you that you can improvise i mean when it comes to makeup you can always improvise plus i'm going for a very minimal look so i don't need a lot of colors on my face so this is me just blending you guys blending is the key like i always take my time to blend out my my product so i don't end up looking like a clown so i'm doing the same for the other eye i'm just using that same powder to blend it in and now for the inner part i'm using a lighter shade of powder for the um, inner part of my eye or my eyelid yeah and i'm just blending that in yes so dark shade of powder plus light shade of powder got the perfect nude eyeshadow yes is it giving yes or yes <laughs> Now i'm going with the brown again to just go over that particular place in case the lighter powder went to that direction time to line your eyes just be super careful especially when you're using a liquid liner then i went ahead with my mascara and then i'm going in with this light shade of powder to just um go over the places i highlighted yeah and i'm just dabbing that in to make sure that everything is sitting perfectly well and is blended out i went ahead to also use mascara for the lower part of my lashes and then i'm using a powder blush to go over my cheek again and you can see how cute that looks you guys if you are looking for a lash tutorial on this channel i'm so sorry because you're not going to see it i always struggle with my lashes <laughs> Let me know if i'm not the only one that struggles with my lashes let me know in the comment section so i'm going with my exact shade of powder to go over my face and yeah this is the part we've been waiting for i mean this makeup is so cute like this but this graphic liner just takes it to another level you guys this is a sign for you to get graphic liners in different colors this december because imagine slaying this to the club or to a concert also any night out and like it always hits different at night although you can also wear it during the day but come on graphic liners takes the look from zero to hundred 
so yeah i used a cheek glaze i didn't use highlighter and i went over it with all the glaze i highlighted and this is me using my perfect nude lipstick on my lips and then i just added gloss and um, i'm good to go man i went to have my fixing spray or you can use a setting spray to set your face and what did you say about four plus four four plus four eight this look eight and left no fucking crumbs yeah i said that anyways thank you so so much for watching till the end i hope you enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to subscribe like drop a comment share and please if you haven't seen previous episodes of my vlogmas series please do check it out and thank you so much i'm going to see you guys tomorrow bye